Okay, you guys, you know I'm all about simple meals and lunches here. I am never gonna show you something that takes so long that it's ridiculous to put it in their lunches, you know, unless it's like a leftover dinner or something like that. But, um, so all I'm doing today is I'm boiling some water and I'm gonna make some four cheese ravioli here. I picked this up at Target. It's filled with ricotta, mozzarella, romano, and Parmesan cheeses. Okay, so I just put the pasta in and now I'm gonna immediately turn it on to simmer and let it simmer for about five minutes. So if your kids don't like Alfredo pasta, you can use um, you know, tomato pasta or you know, no pasta at all if they just like to eat them plain. Uh, or you could put a little bit of shredded cheese on top. Just whatever works for your kids, but this is what the girls are gonna have today. So now I'm about to cut up some of this cantaloupe and put it into these little containers for the girls. So now I'm gonna cut up some strawberry for Presley's other side and I'll get something else for Fallon because she doesn't like strawberries. All right, so there's her strawberries. I love these little mini um, Sistema containers. So there's Presley's, and then let's figure out what I'm gonna give Fallon on this side. Okay, so for Fallon's other side, I'm gonna give her some of these cotton candy grapes. These are very seasonable. Um, they are not out all the time. I usually get them at HEB. I don't know if other stores have them, but for sure HEB has them. But they really do taste like cotton candy. Um, it says here, these, these cotton candy grapes really do taste like cotton candy. What a fun, healthy way to enjoy everyone. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna cut some of these cotton candy grapes up for Fallon. And, and I'm curious if these are in other states or countries, so let me know down below if you've ever tried cotton candy grapes or what store you've ever bought them at, if you've tried them before, I'm real curious to know. So here's Fallon's fruit, and I decided to go ahead and cut up a little bit more and put them inside of here with Presley's fruit because she is a big fruit eater. She, she'll go for the fruit before anything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in some of those cotton candy grapes in her container. All right, so there we are. Went ahead and added in the grapes. So I'm just waiting for Presley's lunchbox to dry. If you can't tell, it's wet inside. So don't forget, just like as often as you can, to take a warm paper towel with some soap on it and just kind of clean their lunchboxes out because they get spilled food and it gets really gross inside so okay so here's the girls lunches we've got the alfredo pasta the fruit and i also put in some yogurt covered raisins over here on presley's and then for fallon's i have a strawberry fruit and grain cereal bar hey y'all good morning this is presley's meal today over here i started with these little kebabs this is chicken rotisserie on these little target picks i love these target picks they've become my new favorite they fit so much more on them than these picks so i'm kind of using these more as like decoration these are the ones that i bought on amazon last year and by the way everything is linked down below so these are those little like a little music note and a little heart and so chicken rotisserie and then i cut up some mozzarella into little squares and yeah so they're like little mini kebabs and the girls love them they actually asked me to pack them today so that's how much they love them then over here i have some ritz crackers i had to think about it for a minute like what are those these are ritz crackers these are like little mini carrots i love these i got them at walmart and they come in this little package and they actually say like mini carrots on them instead of the baby carrots they're even smaller i mean look how tiny let me see if i can pick one out i mean <laughs> like really tiny but um it's just easier for them to to eat and they really like them that size okay phone <laughs> Over here is some mandarin oranges. All three of my kids absolutely love mandarin oranges, so that's always a big hit. Then I've got some Yoplait vanilla yogurt over here, and I used blueberries to make eyes and a nose. Suddenly thought of this today, and then I used a raspberry for the mouth. Presley actually does like blueberries and raspberries, so she probably will eat those. I don't normally put them in her yogurt, so I don't know if she's just gonna take them out or if she actually will eat them, but maybe she'll eat them. Immediately after I made this, I started to think of Mr. Bill from Saturday Night Live like a decade ago. I don't know if you've ever seen Mr. Bill, but he always says, oh no. <laughs> 
I don't know, immediately thought of Mr. Bill when I put that together. Um, and then for right here, I'm gonna be using, this is my last little package of this uh, Dump the Cow chocolate chip cookies. The girls loved these cookies and they said that all of their friends were, you know, raving about how, how cool they were. And so I'll leave her link again down below. These are dairy-free, gluten-free, vegan-friendly, no eggs and no trans fats. And they fit perfectly right here in the center of your bento box or your yum box. So I'm gonna put those there, but I'm gonna go ahead and move hers over. And we're gonna talk about Fallon's next because it's pretty similar. So she has the two uh, chicken rotisserie and cheese kebabs as well with Little Ritz crackers. She has yogurt, but if I put blueberries or raspberries in hers, she wouldn't even touch this. So I'm not even gonna think about putting fruit in Fallon's yogurt. She, she won't eat it then. <laughs> Um, so then I've got some mandarin oranges for her and a little bunny pick, um, some baby carrots, an egg, since that's like one of her favorite foods ever. And um, so I'm also then gonna put these little chocolate chip cookies, some vegan ones, I know it's crazy. Um, like I said in my week two and three video, they sent them to us and I wanted to show them as options for anybody who's watching this that is vegan and looking for some dessert. Um, choices so okay yes there was one cookie left over from the package The the others um, fit in here just perfectly there was just one left over so you know I helped them out and ate it for them um, but here we go Fallon and Presley Y'all, I can't close this with the Ritz crackers, so I'm still, oh, there we go. Okay, so now I'll be able to close it. Ah, voila. Presley still fits like that. All right, and so here are the notes that I put on the girls' lunches today. These are those little Shopkins uh, notes that I always use that I've showed you in other videos, and then I just use washi tape. If you're a big planner like me, you probably have a ton of washi tape, and um, so that's perfect to help hold the note on here so it doesn't go anywhere. Um, it just says, I am so proud of you, love mommy. And I try to put their quotes the same because they do sit pretty close to each other and I don't you know, want them to sound too different. So I just usually go with the same uh, little quote. And I'm gonna put a Danimal in both of their lunches today. I stuck them in the freezer for about 10 minutes or so. So at least by lunch, they should be fine. I worry about these getting, not staying cool enough. So sticking them in the freezer for a little while should keep it cool to the lunch time. So again, this is Presley's lunchbox. I put her cool gear and ice pack on this side with a little pocket. Here's the Target one that came kind of matching with her lunchbox. And then I just stuck the Danimal in right there. And then this is Fallon's. And so I just kind of have to squeeze it in there. It barely fits in here, but it does for her little JoJo one that she had to have. <laughs> And then for the girls' snacks today, and most days I take these little frozen snack bags and then I just put a variety of different snacks in there like a Nature Valley bar, uh, some Princess Goldfish, I think there's some Descendants Goldfish in here, some Mickey, uh, let's see, oh we've got some Cheez-Its in this one. Descendants Goldfish? Descendants one? Or, that's the little yellow one right here. No, that's Incredibles. Oh, and that's what I meant, Incredibles. Sorry. <laughs> now, which one of y'all likes Cheez-Its? Me. Fallon, okay, so Presley doesn't, so I didn't put any in hers. Okay, we just got home from yeah. school, and see how Fallon did? Okay. Do you wanna go ahead and eat the leftover She's carrots that you have here? Yeah. Yeah, and you wanna go ahead and eat the, the rest of your kebab? I, I promise you, this is just regular mozzarella cheese. There are no red spots. Mm. She said she didn't eat this because she thought it was pepper jack cheese. Yeah, now, well, this is just plain mozzarella cheese that you like. I saw pepper. You know how those cheese sticks? I saw pepper. These aren't cheese sticks. I actually cut them, but no, there's no pepper on here. You're silly. Okay, you need to eat this. And Presley. Okay, so you didn't eat your fruit now because it was touching the yogurt okay but you still ate your yogurt so that's good and you you most of everything okay so now why didn't you eat yours because it looked weird it looked weird 
No. You've eaten these before. Is it because of the cheese? Mm-hmm. That's, but this is chicken, honey. This is chicken, and then this is just your regular mozzarella cheese. What is this? Here, you wanna go ahead? What? I wanna eat the ham here. What are you eating, bacon? Mm -hmm. And I'm eating, I mean, these were pressing my old kids. I'm not old, the ones were mine. And did you make these little bugs over here? No. They're interims, this is eggy. This is Presley's icky. Oh, so, so you made that one, Presley? We don't have it. I want to show them what her name is. Is her name icky? No. So what's his name? Um, Sparkle. Sparkle? Oh, so it's a girl. Mm-hmm. Cute. Oh, yeah. I like that name. Violet. Because, what? well, she looks like she has Violet on right here. So you just changed her name to Violet? Yeah. Her name's Violet now? Okay. Okay, good morning. This morning, I just met at the grocery haul recently get pick these up at Sam's in a large box so it's super easy they heat up for just three minutes and you, you know these get really hot so they will definitely stay warm by lunchtime yeah. I you can see that steam I really love mac and cheese so you do I'll eat them. you'll eat it and don't forget the spoon okay I know okay so those are nice and hot and just gonna put the lids on top it's on top right there. So I'm excited to eat it. But yeah, you can see the steam coming out of there. So it will still be warm by the time it's um, lunchtime. Yeah. And since it's Wednesday, we have to go over the girls' graded papers. Every Wednesday they get sent home. Well, actually today's Thursday, but since yesterday was Wednesday, they get their graded papers home. And so... We go over those. Only one paper? Well, good job, Valen. You mean a hundred. Normally they have a lot more in here, but that's pretty simple. Yeah, pretty simple. Good job. Wait, let me look it. And then over here is where I sign it. You can see we're going into the fourth week. So I'm just going to sign right there. And then here's Presley's graded papers. Good job, Presley. You made 102. Hey, good morning. This is Fallon's meal for today. I made these little cheese and chicken kebabs that they like so much. So it's just one of those little target picks with, um, I cut up some little pieces of cheese and chicken and just put it on little kebabs. Okay, so today we're going to make some more thermos meals. Really simple, just two ingredients. I've got some little smokies here. So it's these tiny little weenies. So it's just some smoked sausage and some barbecue sauce. This is sweet and honey barbecue sauce. So I'm just gonna stick this in the small little crock pot, let it get warm, and then I'm gonna put it in their thermoses. All right, so they are ready. You can see the steam coming up. Okay, I just got a last minute request from Fallon to mix beans in with her weenies. And uh, Presley doesn't like beans, so hers is gonna be um, just regular little smokies. But I, So I heated up some Bush's beans and I put them in here, uh, mixed them together, and now I'm gonna put them in her, back in her thermos. <laughs> All right, so this is what I have for Fallon today. I uh, have her the, the Little Smokies and the baked beans in here and a napkin separating them from this popcorn. It's the Smart Food Delight White Cheddar Popcorn. I'm kind of running low on groceries here. I need to go to the grocery store. A Baby Bell cheese. This is some peaches and some yogurt. And then Presley's is pretty much the same thing except for she has a sea salted caramel popcorn. And um, we only had one go-gurt left. And I gave her the um, Yoplait yogurt. But she has the same peaches and Baby Bell and her beans and Little Smokies. 
I think that'll be it for today's video. My next video is gonna be all Halloween themed lunches, so be sure to subscribe if you wanna see my Halloween lunches. If you enjoy these videos, please give me a thumbs up that lets me know that you want to see more of these videos. I also just got in a brand new munch pack, so I'm so excited to open this. This is going to be in next week's video. I'm going to do an unboxing of this, show you all the goodies that I got into this munch pack. I know you guys loved it um, a couple of weeks ago and when I showed you what all we got, and uh, my kids love when I incorporate some of these fun and different snacks from all over the world. So Stay tuned for this in my next video. All right, guys, have a blessed day. Hand in hand, building castles out of sand, reaching for the